solid principles. I have no words to emphasize how important this point is with respect to Java interviews and in overall working of a Java developer. Whenever in a Java interview, a candidate understands these principles well, it is surely a green flag about the candidate. So let's know about the solid principles today. So the S in solid stands for single responsibility, which means that a class in Java should partake a single responsibility. Or in other words, there should be only one reason to change a particular class. By adhering to this principle, we ensure that a class remains concise, focused and easy to understand. It promotes high cohesion and prevents classes from becoming bloated with unrelated responsibilities. The O in solid stands for open closed principle, which means the classes should be open for enhancements but closed for modifications. So this principle encourages to design classes in such way that can be easily modified without disturbing the existing functionality. By using abstraction, inheritance and interfaces, new functionalities can be added without altering the existing code base. So you know, this reduces the chances of introducing new bugs while modifying and breaking existing functionality as well. The L in solid stands for Lixos substitution principle, which means objects of the super classes should be easily replaceable with the objects of the child classes without breaking the overall application or the functionality. In other words, child classes should be able to be used as substitutes for their parent classes without, you know, causing any unexpected behavior or violating the contract of the parent classes. Adhering to this principle promotes modularity, extensibility and code reusability. The I stands for interface segregation, which means classes should not be forced to implement the interfaces they don't require. It suggests interfaces to be fine-grained and precise size instead of being large and monolithic. By having smaller and more specialized interfaces, classes need to be dependent on the interfaces which are relevant to them. This principle helps in avoiding fat interfaces and prevents unnecessary dependencies between classes. And the D in solid stands for dependency inversion, which means classes should not be instantiating other classes which they require to achieve their functionality. Instead, there should be a container class which should create objects of all the classes and inject whatever dependencies are required in whichever classes by itself. So it should be the responsibility of the container to create the objects and inject them wherever required instead of the classes being responsible to create the objects of other classes that they require. So that is the D dependency injection in sorted principles. So by by applying solid principles, developer can create code which is easy to understand, maintain and extend as well. These principles help in achieving modularity, flexibility and scalability in systems, thereby leading to improved code quality or less risk of bug being introduced in the system on modification.